I hope you're all well. So today we're going to do a tutorial that I actually should have done a really, really long time ago and I hadn't realised that I hadn't done it. So for those of you that don't know, if you go on the YouTube channel, there is a playlist section and I've spent the last few days kind of organizing that so it's easier for you all to find certain videos so if you go to the YouTube channel and you go to playlists you'll see that everything is now organized so there's HTV, there's Halloween, there's Christmas, there's vinyl, there's stenciling and it's all nice and organized and when I was going through the vinyl although I obviously show vinyl techniques I've never actually done a video on how to layer vinyl properly which is ludicrous I've done it using uh, registration marks but I haven't done it kind of freehand so that's what I want to show you today the other thing that a lot of you ask me for is when I do my live videos you see my Cricut Cuties that are on my back wall. They're lovely and colourful and I want to show you those today as well. So if we go to images in Design Space and you can see I've just typed in Cutie and it comes up with some of the Cricut Cuties. So we've got three here that are coloured and then you've got outlines of ones as well. Um, the angry one, I'm I'm not too, or upset, sorry, he's upset Cricut Cutie. He's not my favourite. My favourite is the ecstatic one and then happy. And we're going to use ecstatic today. So we're just going to insert image. He's so cute. He's so super, super cute. And I want him at a width of four inches. So I'm just going to press enter. And then all I'm going to do is just ungroup him. And I'm just going to come in and change the colours. So whatever colours I'm kind of using for my vinyl is I'll put similar colours into Design Space just so that I can kind of match them up. So all we're going to do is just click on the colour bits and then you can change them. Uh, so with this one I want a lighter green and then with the arms I want a darker green. The body is actually going to be a rainbow glitter. Uh, so I'm just going to do that in a yellow I think just so I can get it in my head how I want it to be. And then that's it I think think let's just make sure that everything is how we want it and that all our layers are how we want and it's going to cut out the way we want it to yeah absolutely so once you're happy we can then go to make it so I'm just going to turn these eyes around so they don't kind of stick out as much and I'm just going to place them in there just to save some space on my vinyl more than anything uh, just check all these mats, make sure they're how I want them. And then we can go to continue. So I'm going to be using different types of vinyl today. I've got a black 651, which I'm going to use for the outline. Then quite a few of them, such as the eyes and the mouth, uh, this red mouth, a few of them are holographic, some are sparkle holographic, some are just kind of opal colours and then I've also got a glitter vinyl as well for the main body. So you can find all your materials in here, browse all materials, if you've got an air then you'll see you've got a dial and if the material is not on the dial just bring the dial around to custom and then you'll end up in a place like this so you'll be able to browse the materials and find the correct vinyl that you want. Please make sure between loading and unloading each of your mats if you need to change the cut settings that you come in and do that for each of your mats.
can see that everything's now cut out. Now I'm going to put this on my wall with the rest of my cuties and trying to line it all up individually, put the layers on on the wall is just, it's just going to be a nightmare. And you can see I've got no registration marks either. So I do this a slightly different way. If I've got layers like this and then going onto something that's not kind of easily accessible and you know it's a little bit difficult, this is the way I do it. So I always work with my base layer. So this is obviously my bottom layer and it is going to stay as it is on the carrier sheet for the moment. So my next layer is going to be one of my opal holographics. And I'm just using some paper transfer tape today because it's what I had to hand. And I'm going to transfer it just as I normally would. So I'm going to scrape it from the front and then scrape it from the back. I'm then going to come in and remove the backing sheet. But I've got nowhere to put it on. Well, I have because I'm putting it straight on to my base image. And I like to hover first and I'm then just going to place it on there. I'm then going to go in with my scraper and just give that a quick scrape. And then I can come in and remove my transfer tape. So that has gone straight on to the backing image. So he is now completely layered. He's exactly how we want him. And what it means is we can transfer it onto one piece now, all as one, and then we can just put it straight onto the wall. So we haven't got to worry about lining anything up, getting positions right, trying to step away. We're just going to transfer it all as one. So that whole design is now on our transfer tape. So we can just take it over to the wall and transfer it in one go. Mm -hmm. 